Now, one of Nigeria's foremost political economists, Professor Pat Tutomi, has said that all election offenders must be punished, else the nation risks truncating her democracy. Utomi, who is also the convener of Big Tent, a coalition of political parties, social movement and civil society organizations for the Labour Party, maintained that unless those who committed electoral fraud, disrupted the process, harassed, killed and maimed voters were jailed, the phrase, go to court, would continue to be a regular line among election briggers in Nigeria. There's no consequence management in Nigeria. If there was consequence management, three, four governors to be jailed would prevent the next set of governors from doing what this wants to do. But if we don't insist now, the next elections will be worse than this one. This is why we will take the names of these public officials and not just governors alone their names. Thank God the Americans are asking us to bring their names. Thank God the British are saying they want those names to go out. Then Father and I had a stressing discussion of this even before the Americans and British began to make small promises. Then we said, look, we have enough laws in our country to prosecute this people. One lawyer has to volunteer to afford to prosecute this people. We'll prosecute them here. Take their names to international criminal court. But unless we jail many of them, elections will always be bad in People don't come out to vote at election time because they wonder why they should risk all of this and the results will be manipulated anyway. And so our democracy is dying. If we're going to save this democracy, some dramatic things need to happen. One of them will be getting in jail for big office holders who have declared the election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.